Apple Blossoms and random internet passerbyers, Cherry here. In this video, I'll be explaining what it was like to film a music video by myself in a dance studio in Korea. I'll also talk a little bit about the editing process at the end. Let's go! The song I covered was Chocolate Disco, originally by J-pop legendary group Perfume. The studio I rented was through an app called Space Cloud, and it was pretty cheap. I think for about three hours, it was around 20 USD. The thing I love the most about these studios that you can rent out in Seoul is that they are self-checking. You do not have to interact with the person at all. You just get a code that you enter for the lock on the door, and you get that through email or through text message, and then you get inside, you change your shoes, and you go to the room that you reserve. Now, there is CCTV everywhere, so if something crazy happens, it will be captured, and if you break the rules, you will be caught on camera. I tried to go for a futuristic cyber vibe to fit the mood of the song, so I chose this room because of the blue light design, and I also liked how the wall was mirrored, so it looked like there were three versions of me while dancing at once, like perfume! However, the downside of the mirror wall was fingerprints and streaks. Upon entering the room, I immediately noticed how dusty the mirrors were. I tried to clean it with some wipes that I found outside of the room, and it actually made things look worse. I decided to just deal with it, and maybe when I edit the footage, it won't end up looking so bad. I... The clock was ticking and I needed to get to work. Cause come to think of it, I think I actually only really had two hours to film in there because even though I booked it for three, I think I actually arrived late because I got a little lost trying to find the studio. But thankfully, I already did my base makeup, like my foundation and my setting powder at home before I got here. So all I needed to do was add on blush and some lip color. However, the blush did not even show up in the lighting. I did not expect to look so blue in this room like a smurf. It was very blue, da ba dee da boo da but we just had to carry on. <laughs> now it's time to film. My shot list for this time was just gonna be multiple dance shots, a close-up slip syncing shot without dancing, and then some fun freestyle moving around shots with some poses here or there. The camera would essentially stay in the same position on the tripod, and I would just move the tripod more forward or back depending on how much of myself I wanted to have in the shot. First, I tried some sitting down on the floor shots, but those looked kind of awkward, so instead I just moved on to the first standing and lip syncing shot. Next, I did another close-up shot, but instead of standing still, I also did the choreography while lip syncing. Then I pushed the tripod back a little bit and did another dancing while lip syncing shot. Then I pushed the tripod back as far as I could in the room to get a full body shot. I tried to do some freestyling and cute poses, but ultimately I actually ended up scrapping this footage from the final video because it just looked a little bit too out of place compared to the other clips. Next, I did the dance and lip sync at the same time to the full song with my full body shown. And I just gotta say, I love how these high heels make me look tall. My big insecurity is my legs looking short because I am short. I mean, it's just reality, but I really wish I had longer legs. Also, major props to me dancing in these and I did not fall not once. My ankles are thanking me. Finally, the last thing I recorded was I tilted the camera upward a little bit and did some freestyle dancing around and posing, and I also ended up scrapping this footage as well from the final video since it just looked really out of place compared to the other shots. Let me talk about the outfit. So I made this outfit from scratch. Yes, I did. But I did not make this outfit specifically for this video. I actually made it back in 2021 when I was watching Girls Planet 999. And I wanted to make an outfit that was a little bit similar to their purple outfits that they wore. But I thought it was too plain. I wanted some bling bling. So I ordered this really cheap disco ball looking fabric from online. I don't even know if this fabric is made to be worn. I think it's more as like a decorative fabric you could use for like curtains or something. I made this top using a t-shirt as a pattern and it, it, when I first made it, it was just so weird fitting on me. I ended up putting that sewing project on pause and then by the time I wanted to pick it up again, Girls Planet was kind of like not, like it had already been a year. <laughs> and 
of my girls put a 9 on 9 was not a trending topic, and I also felt very conflicted because the results, I was not fully satisfied with the final lineup of the group. And then everyone online is talking about how Mnet always rigs their girl groups and boy groups in these survival shows. So I was like, oh my gosh, do I even want to do this cover anymore? Do I want to support this, which is like kind of unethical? So I had a little bit of an ethical dilemma and I ended up just never making the cover. But I love the choreography for that song. So then this disco outfit has just been like sitting on a hanger for another year. And then I thought about doing Chocolate Disco as a song song against cover. I wanted to add it to my Dream Valentine Live set list that I would be doing that same year in 2023. Then I was like, okay, well, Chocolate Disco, this looks like a disco ball. It's like perfect. Now that we've recorded everything, did you notice an issue with anything in the background besides the streaky mirrors? It was these darn indoor slippers i didn't notice these indoor slippers in the reflection of the mirror until i got home and i saw the footage full screen on my laptop i was so upset the slippers ruin the fantasy because here's the thing, you know what the storyline is supposed to be for the video? I was going for something of like a digital girl trapped inside of a computer. And slowly you're falling in love with her as she also expresses her mutual interest towards you. But then, the computer self-destructs in the end. I actually didn't have that idea initially. I started to develop that idea once I started playing around with effects and that was just what ended up coming up in my head. But the slippers, they ruined the fantasy! But after I stepped away from the project and came back to it, I decided to add some stickers and animations and images to cover issues in the background. Not only the slippers, but also some streaks in the mirror that were just a little too distracting for me. And I also felt like this gave the video a little bit of that more cyber computer aesthetic vibe. But sometimes, you know, you have a vision and then once you get on set, the set is not what you thought it was going to be. And then once you start editing, the footage didn't turn out how you hoped it would. But you just have to roll along with it and be flexible and I guess be creative as well. After I figured that I wasn't going to throw this project away, I decided to keep editing. And what I ended up doing was I also chopped up the clips so that if my body was hiding the slippers in the reflection, I would prioritize that clip. So basically what I do is I take all my shots, I sync them to the music, and then I go through each take. I chop everything up and I keep the parts that I like the most. And I also try to make the clips change to the beat of the music and add transitions that go with the mood of the song. And there we have it. Here's a little preview of the final project. If you want to see the full video, go to my J-pop channel. I know this video has been up for quite some time now. But hey, I think I, I think I did a good job. I mean, you know, I made it work despite a bunch of issues, but the issues weren't even that bad. Shout out to Controller for mixing my cover and also remaking the instrumental for me. I provided an instrumental that I wanted to use for the cover and he was like, can I just remake this? Cause he didn't really like the way that the cover instrumental I provided to him sounded and he loves perfume so much. So he was like, let me just recreate this. So I commissioned him and uh, he makes wonderful original tracks. He's also worked with other indie idol groups like A Muse, I recommend them. They're very professional, take themselves very seriously and create good stuff. And a throwback, I met him back at the Kira Kira Pop show that I used to produce and host at back in 2018. If you're a perfume fan, let me know in the comments. I actually don't know too much about perfume, like as far as the members go, to be honest, but I have been listening to them since like high school or maybe even late middle school for me. The first video I ever saw of perfume was One Room Disco. I saw it in the recommendations on YouTube. I clicked on it and I was like, whoa, this is cool. And then in high school, I got like my friends into perfume. Shout out to Melvin. He became a huge perfume fan. I don't know if it was thanks to me or maybe, I don't remember, but he loved perfume. Uh, shout out to Melvin. I don't know if he's watching a video or not, <laughs> but I never forgot you, Melvin. I never forgot you and your love for perfume. Favorite member of perfume? Uh, I, I will have to say Nochi. Why? Just because her bob is iconic. It's an iconic bob. 
So let me know in the comment section who is your favorite perfume member. Do you have a favorite perfume album? Song? If you want to teach me more about perfume, the comments are waiting for you. Let's wrap this up already. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to check out my coffee page to, you know, if you want to throw me a buck or two and help my dreams come true. Should that, should that be my new saying? Throw me a buck or two if you want to see my dreams come true. I don't know. Oh my god, why do I make that voice? This needs to end. Thanks so much for watching, and you'll see me in the next video of mine you decide to click on. Bye!